Question 2.11, we have a LTI system and this is the impulse response of the LTI system and you want to see what is the response of the system for different inputs here. Okay, so let's consider one by one. First one, xt equals ut and in, we know ut is unit step function and the impulse response of the LTI system is e to the power of minus t ut. Let me just double check. Yes. Okay. So for such a system, if I want to find the response, the system's response to this xt, I should calculate the, convol the, the convolution between xt and ht. Tau times ht minus tau theta. From minus from negative infinity to infinity and if I replace xt and h by their expression their corresponding expressions we would have integral of u of tau times h of tau which is e to the power of minus instead of t I should replace that by t minus tau and instead of t here I should replace that again by t minus tau okay d tau from minus infinity to infinity and for a unit step function u tau we know it is 1 if tau is larger than 0 or equal to 0 and it is 0 if tau is smaller than 0 and in more general form I can say u of t minus tau is 1 if this this value this expression t minus tau is larger than 0 and that means if t is uh, if let me write, write it in a different way if tau is smaller than if tau is smaller than or equal to t and if tau is larger than t the value of the unit step is zero. Okay, so based on that, I can then simplify yt and write it in this way. Write it as sum of two integrals from minus infinity to zero of u of tau e to the power of minus t minus tau u of t minus tau d tau plus integral from 0 to infinity of the same product and since the value of this ut here is 0 all this part all this the whole integral is 0 okay so yt is only equals to the second part to this part mm. and instead of ut I can replace that by 1 because the value of u tau in this interval from 0 to infinity is 1 okay but we have another unit step function unit step signal here and its value is 1 if tau is smaller than t so I can I can write this this, this integral in the form in the form of uh, sum of two integrals from 0 to t e to the power of minus t minus tau u t minus tau d tau plus t to infinity of e to the power of t minus tau times u of t minus tau d tau okay and from the expression here, from the definition of the unit step signal here, we can say the value of this u t minus tau here is zero because tau uh, is the interval larger than t. It is in the interval between t and 
infinity so the value of the u, u of t minus tau is zero okay so totally this integral is zero so we can say yt only equals to this integral and in this interval from zero to t u of t minus tau is one you see here because tau is smaller than t okay so i can further simplify this this guy is totally zero this is one so I can say y of t equals integral from 0 to t of e to the power of minus t minus tau times 1 times d tau, okay? And if I further uh, expand this, further simplify this, this equals zero to integral of 0 to t of e to the power of minus t times e to the power of tau d tau. And since this, this part, e to the power of minus t, is not a function of tau, so I can take this out and put it behind the integral. So this equals e to the power of minus, tau, minus uh, t times integral of 0 to t of e to the power of tau d tau. And we know that integral of e to the power of tau equals itself equals e to the power of tau so we have e times e to the power of uh, minus t times e to the power of tau times uh, i'm sorry in the range of uh, tau equals zero to tau equals t and this equals e to the power of minus t times e to the power of t minus e to the power of zero okay and e to the power of 0 is 1, so let me write, okay, I always have this problem. <laughs> let me write the rest, um, the rest here. Let me separate this thing, this part. I write the rest here, so I can say yt equals e to the power of minus t times e to the power of t now I'm, I'm gonna multiply this guy to this one and this one okay so minus e to the power of minus t times e to the power of zero which is one so we have e to the power of minus t and this means yt equals well if you multiply this to this equals e to the power of minus t plus t which is e to the power of zero, and that's one minus e to the power of minus t. But you should also consider that this is only the case uh, when this is only the case when t is positive, okay? Because here we saw that when when uh, tau is negative, is tau is in the range of minus infinity to zero then the integral is zero. So we are just assuming that tau is positive, okay? If tau is positive or in the range of zero to infinity, then we conclude that uh, the value of this integral is, is non-zero or the value of the signal is zero for all tau larger than t. So that means t should be positive. Otherwise, this integral here would be zero as well. Okay, so to to include that into final into the final result into the final expression, I should multiply this to u of t because u of t is one if t is positive, and u of t is zero if t is negative, and that's what we want. We want this y t to be equal to one minus e to the power of minus t. We want this only for the case what t is positive and if t is negative that means uh, that means this equals zero and y t totally equals zero okay